हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टू द एनवायरमेंट प्राइमर सीरीज ऑफ जस्ट डीआईएस माय नेम इज प्रज्ञा सो एज यू ऑल आर अवेयर वी वर डिस्कसिंग सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मेजर एनिमल प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट आर वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट फ्रॉम योर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इन आवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंट प्राइमर एंड इन टुडेस डिस्कशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एमसीक्यूज व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू दीस मेजर एनिमल प्रोजेक्ट्स सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिस्कशन ऑफ आवर टुडेस सेशन so we will be firstly seeing what all projects are we covering in this mcq discussion and definitely we are going to discuss the mcqs on these animal projects so if i talk about the projects that we will be covering in our session today so they include project tiger project cheetah project sea turtle project elephant crocodile conservation project great indian bustard conservation then project snow leopard वल्चर कंजर्वेशन प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट डॉल्फिन एंड प्रोजेक्ट हनगुल सो वील बी हैविंग क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दीज मेजर एनिमल प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट इज बिगिन बाई डिस्कसिंग दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ आर टूडे सेशन सो द क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट योर स्टेटमेंट नंबर वन है प्रोजेक्ट एलिफेंट वॉज लॉन्च बाई दी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज योर स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू इज इट इम्प्लीमेंट्स द माइक प्रोग्राम ऑफ साइट्स so which of these statements given above is are correct your options are option a is one only option b is two only option c is both one and two and option d is none of the above so your correct answer is definitely going to be option b the second statement is only correct because project elephant was launched by the central government and this project elephant is a centrally sponsored scheme centrally sponsored scheme and that is why your statement number 1 is not correct it was launched by the central government of india and not by the ministry of environment forest and climate change okay and if you talk about the main objective behind the launching of this project its main objective was to conserve the elephants in india to have their dedicated and protected habitats and to reduce the human elephant conflicts and that is why we have these dedicated elephant corridors in india and if you talk about the iucn status of elephants so they are endangered in india okay so let us proceed to our second question of our today's discussion so the question is project elephant was launched in which year your options are option a is 1991 option b is 1992 option c is 1993 and option d is 1995 so it was launched in the year 1992 by the central government of india moving forward the question is consider the following statements your statement number 1 is India's first center for snow leopard is being developed in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Your statement number two is Global Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Protection Program is an intergovernmental alliance of all twelve snow leopard range countries. So, which of the following statements is are correct? Your option A is one only. Option B is two only. Option C is both one and two. And option D is none of the above. so definitely your correct answer is going to be option 2 only because india's first center for snow leopard is being developed in the state of uttarakhand and not in the state of himachal pradesh and if you talk about the iucn status of snow leopard it is endangered in india okay so basically statement 2 only is the correct answer moving forward the question is the iucn status of snow leopard in india is as i have already mentioned that it is endangered in india let's discuss the next question of our today's session so the question is consider the following statements your statement number 1 is 
चीता रीइंट्रोडक्शन प्रोजेक्ट एम्स टू रीइंट्रोड्यूस चीता इन दी पूना पालपुर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी मध्य प्रदेश एंड योर स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू इज चीता इज इंडेंजर्ड इन इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया सो विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट योर ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन ए इज वन ओनली ऑप्शन बी इज टू ओनली ऑप्शन सी इज बोथ वन एंड टू एंड ऑप्शन डी इज नन ऑफ द अब सो डेफिनेटली योर करेक्ट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन वन ओनली बिकॉज चीता is extinct in independent india and that is why we have this cheeta reintroduction program running okay in the puno wildlife sanctuary of india from where we have brought the african cheetahs and now we are breeding them in captivity so basically they are extinct in independent e india and that is why statement one only is correct moving forward to the next question so consider the following number 1 black necked crane number 2 cheetah number 3 flying squirrel and number 4 is snow leopard which of these are naturally found in india okay so your options are option a is 1 2 and 3 only option b is 1 3 and 4 only option c is 2 and 4 only and option d is 1 2 3 and 4 so if you have paid attention to the previous question you might know the correct answer for this question the correct answer is going to be option b 1 3 and 4 only because cheetah is extinct in independent india it is not found in independent india as of now okay and it is mostly found in iran africa it is not naturally found in india moving forward the question is consider the following statements your statement number 1 is project tiger was launched to increase the populations of tigers in india okay your option 2 is the satpura tiger reserve has showed a significant increase in the tiger population so which of these statements given above is are correct your options are option a is one only option b is two only option c is both one and two and option d is none of the above so basically both of these statements are correct the project tiger was definitely launched to increase the number of tigers in india and the satpura tiger reserve has shown a increase in the population of the tigers let me know in the comment box below which other wildlife sanctuaries in madhya pradesh have so shown an increase in the tiger population Okay, and if you talk about the IUCN status of tiger, then again it is endangered in India. Moving forward, let us discuss another question of our today's discussion. So the question is: Consider the following statements. So your statement number one is: The scientific name of vulture is Gypsis himalayensis, and your statement number two is. it is categorized as near threatened on the international union for conservation of nature that is the iucn red list of threatened species and your statement number 3 is the main uh, reason of the population decline is the use of this drug declofenac so which of these statements given above is are correct your option a is one only option b is 1 and 2 only option c is 2 and 3 only and option d is 1 2 and 3 so as you can see that yes all of these statements are correct and we have already discussed in detail when we were discussing the project vulture that yes this use of drug diclofenac almost forced the vultures on the verge of extinction so that is why they are near threatened on the IUCN red list of species moving forward so the question is india's first center center for research on conserving the endangered gangetic river dolphin national dolphin research center ndrc is located at and this question will prove how much are you aware with the current affairs segment because when i was conducting the trend analysis of environment i made you aware that yes being connected with the 
करंट अफेयर्स इज द की फॉर सक्सेसफुली एंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन ऑन इन्वायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट सो द ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन वन पटना ऑप्शन टू विक्रमशिला ऑप्शन थ्री नालंदा एंड ऑप्शन फोर प्रयागराज एंड दिस आंसर विल बी गिवेन बाय यू टू मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स बिलो बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन इज डिरेक्टली लिंक्ड टू द करेंट अफेयर्स ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड द क्वेश्चन इज विथ रेफरेंस टू द मगा प्रोकोडाइल कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट ओके सो नंबर वन इट इज मेनली फाउंड इन द फ्रेश वॉटर हैबिटेट Your statement number two is it is listed as a vulnerable species in the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. So, which of these statements given above is are correct? Your options are option A is one only, option B is two only, option C is both one and two, and option D is neither one nor two. So, definitely it is going to be your option C. Both these statements are correct because magar crocodile is also known as marsh crocodile in india and it is one of the three species of crocodiles found in india let me know in the comment box below what are the other two species of crocodiles found in india so that i can check whether you have uh, observed the knowledge from the project crocodile video or not moving forward the question is with reference to the one horned rhino consider the following statements your statement number 1 is it is mainly found in the kaziranga national park and your statement number 2 is it is listed as a endangered species in the iucn red list of species so which of these statements given above is are correct your options are option a is one only option b is two only option c is both one and two and option d is neither one nor two so definitely as you are guessing it right both of these statements are correct and that is why option c is the correct answer both one and two statements are correct so basically it is mainly found in the kaziranga national park okay and it is listed as a endangered species and that is why we had to run this project one horned rhino for its successful conservation and protection of its habitat moving forward the question is consider the following statements your statement number 1 is great indian bustard is considered india's most critically endangered bird and your statement number 2 is it is the state bird of rajasthan your statement number 3 is its natural habitat in india is the desert national park and if i talk about this park known as the desert national park this is very important from the prelims perspective because there was a question in the year 2020 specifically dedicated to this desert national park okay so this is the natural habitat of the great indian bustards in india okay so which of these statements given above is are correct your options are option a is one and two only option b is two and three only your option c is one and three only and option d is one two and three so if you have heard the lecture you might know that yes all these statements are correct it is the most critically endangered bird in india because it has the problem of population decline due to the electrocution and this is the heaviest flying bird in india so electrocution by live wires is one of the main reasons behind the declining population of the great indian bustards in india and yes you are right that yes it is the state bird of the state of rajasthan so basically all these statements are correct moving forward to the last question of our today's discussion so the question is consider the following statements your statement number 1 is all seven species of sea turtles are currently listed as appendix 1 under sites that means they have been accorded the maximum amount of protection that is available your statement number 2 is the grouping of male olive ridley sea turtles in sea is called as 
Aribada. So, which of these statements given above is are correct? Your options are option A is one only, option B is two only, option C is both one and two, and option D is none of the above. So, yes, both of these statements are correct. Okay, and you can see this phenomenon of Aribada in the Garhi Matha Wildlife Sanctuary. in odisha so this is the natural habitat of the olive ridley sea turtles in india this garhimatha wildlife sanctuary in odisha so with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion we have seen the mcqs on major animal projects if you want me to cover something else you can let me know in the comment box below i hope the session was insightful for you if you like this discussion today and found it to be helpful kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting updates thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications